already discussed that, right? So I'm a bit, yep. So the interview is a conversation. It is a two-way street. Don't just respond to questions. Market yourself, please. Ask and sell. Let me share one example and then we're, and then we're done with the interview part. One quick example is this, okay? I once interviewed somebody who has spent uh, 10 years in school. I'm not joking, 10 years in school. So obviously the person is a little matured already. But he spent 10 years in school with several courses. I'm not sure if you can relate to that, hopefully not, okay? So I asked this person, so um, tell me about your educational background. It looks like you've spent 10 years in school and you've had different courses. But the person was able to graduate, okay? But it took him a while and took several courses. Um, what happened here exactly? So the person told his story. Now, don't just respond to questions, ask and sell. Let me give you two responses. Are you with me? Still with me? Let me give you two responses. The first uh, response belongs to um, a candidate who does not think like a merchant candidate. I can respond to this question like this. Well, um, I didn't really know what I wanted. Uh, until I took this course and finally I graduated. Is that a response to my question? Yes, it is actually. Okay, I asked him wh why did it take you too long uh, to graduate and why several courses? He doesn't know what he wants. That's an honest response. I didn't really know what I wanted until I got this course and well, I just wanted to graduate and finally I did. That's fine. But is that the response of somebody who thinks of job applications as marketing? Is that a marketing type of response? No. How do you attack that question? How do you respond from a marketing perspective? This is it. Well, I didn't really know what I wanted when I started uh, going to college. So it took me a while. It took me several courses and um, I, I had challenges. I wasn't uh, very keen on my attendance, um, but then Later on, I learned from my experience, this is it. This is the marketing part. He gave the facts. I didn't know what I wanted, sure. I was not a very good student, sure. But this is the marketing part. But then, I learned from my experience. Um, I learned the hard way. I learned from my experience. And eventually, I got a course that I was interested in. And I had to change my mindset. I had to come in early for school. I had to come in for my classes. And eventually, I got the degree that uh, I wanted. And it took me a while, but I learned from my experience. And I hope that it's going to be helpful when I enter this organization. Is that a marketing response? It is. Why? Because you mentioned a challenge. You mentioned a mistake. That's true. You mentioned an error probably that you have done. But you responded in a way that you mentioned how. You explained how you were able to overcome the challenge. And in a sense, you sold yourself as somebody who has mistakes, but learned from the experience. The hard way, sure, but you learn from it. And that's how you marketed yourself. And that's a mark an example of a response coming from a marketing perspective. So do not just respond, but push the case forward. Push it and ask and sell. Do not just respond, sell yourself. Okay? So we've spoken about the interview, we've spoken about the resume. I want to talk about the one last item and then we're done. So I want to talk about vision. So we've spoken about how to create the best resume, how to ace the interview, but all of these things would be useless if you don't start with having a vision. What kind of future do you see yourself having? All right, can we move on to the next slide, please? So John Graham, um, a well-renowned speaker, uh, would define vision as this. A vision is a mental picture of the result you want to achieve. It is uh, a picture so clear and strong, it will help make the result real. It comes from the future and energizes the present. So before you even graduate, I, wanna, I want you guys to start thinking about what you really want. Start thinking about what you really want. Start thinking about goals in life. And then, because your goals and your vision will help you uh, will guide you, so to speak, that's the word I guess, will guide you into applying for a position that is aligned with your vision. 
It's useless to apply for a job it is, if it's not aligned with your goals at all. Yes, you may gain experience from it, but it is best to have or to start with a vision already. The point is this, what a shame it would be if you spend or if you build a career for let's say 10 years only to find out in the long run that that's not what you really wanted. It's like climbing, spending time climbing the summit of a tall building only to find out when you reach the top that you are in the wrong building. You see the point? You spend time climbing the top of the building when you reach the top, oh, I should be in the other building. So start with a vision. Sir, can we move on? So to, end, to understand your vision, ask about your strengths. What are you good at? What are you good at? What are your skills? This will help you form a, the, the vision that you want. What do I value? Do I value family time? Do I value a career? Do I value money? Do I value, uh, am I passionate about traveling the world? And we talked about passion already. What are you passionate about? Do you know that your passion is actually a clue to your purpose? Somebody would say that. So ask yourself, what are my strengths, what are my values, and what am I passionate about? What makes me feel alive? And then you can help frame a vision for yourself. Can we move forward, please? Yes. Francis Chan said this, our greatest fear should not be of failure, but of succeeding at things in life that don't really matter to you. You only think it matters at this point, for example. So as early as now, you have to ask yourself, I go back to this question, what do you really want? What are your goals? Because this will help you achieve the goal or the position or the business that you want in the future. And this is the last slide, just please. Robert Browning said this, a man's reach should exceed his grasp. If this is your grasp, your reach should be able to exceed the grasp. Which means if you have a vision, you need to be able to stretch yourself forward exceeding what is normal. Okay, so you're pushing yourself basically to achieve something better. So I go back and ask you this question, what is uh, your vision? Then, all right. So I ask you that question again. All right. What is your vision? Why is that important? Because when you apply for a job, or when you pursue further studies, or when you venture into a business in the near future, having or knowing what you want, or setting down goals as early as now, you get to be able to take specific steps to reach specific goals, and this will help you create the best resume ace an interview, and get the position or the business that you want in the future by being aligned to the goals that you have already as early as now. Okay, so here's the, the last or the parting word. Whether you're applying for a job right after this, seeking employment, or whether you're going to pursue further studies, or whether you're going to business in the near future, have a vision for yourself, okay? And... Uh, I wish you the best and congratulations. Okay? I think you've learned I hope you've learned something from the short discussion. Thank you very much, Mr. Yuri, Yuri Alejandria, for a very comprehensive and engaging presentation, especially on the right way to apply for a job and uh, for clarifying the mysterious areas of <laughs> resume writing. Um, so we have a small token of our appreciation here for you, requesting Ma'am Cheyenne Aberia, our career placement officer, a token and a certificate that reads um, Central Philippine University through the Career Placement Office presents a cer this certificate of appreciation to Mr. Yuri Alejandria um, for sharing your valuable time and expertise as a resource, resource speaker during the pre-employment training seminar on the 6th day of September held at the EMC conference Room Central Philippine University, Haro, Iloilo City, given this um, sixth day of September in the 130th year of Central Philippine University, Haro. 
Signed by Ruella Cheyenne Siabera, Career Placement Officer and Chair Pets Committee, Dr. Raquel Polekeo, Director Guidance Services Center, and Pastor James Peter Transporto, OIC Office of the Vice President for Student Affairs. Sir, again, thank you, thank you very much. We owe you a special vote of thanks for being with us here today. <laughs> Um, so we have now come to the end of this morning's session. I know you're all, <laughs> you're all hungry. So afternoon session will start at 1.15 and um, the door will close at 1.30 this afternoon. You may now adjourn and enjoy your lunch for a while. One last announcement. Uh, just in case you were not able to log in this morning, uh, for those who are sure in the sign up the registration form so you may go because after this we will no longer entertain complaints about not being able to sign in sa registration this morning. Okay? So basta kung sure ka mo yung nag-sign in ka mo, then okay na ka mo. But for those ka daw nalipat siya, kung naka-sign in siya, or nag-una siya pong ko, kindly check. Okay? Thank you 